Hello, hello. Welcome to Reading Time. My name's Time, and today we're reading The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. Let's get to reading. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss is a very well-known children's picture book. This story is about a brother and sister who find themselves bored, stuck inside on a rainy day while their mother is out of the house. They are soon joined by a cat in a hat who has one goal, and that is fun. Over the course of the story, the cat creates all sort of havoc and mayhem as he tries to have fun with the two children. All the while, their pet fish is trying to be the voice of reason, telling them that these activities are not things that their mom would approve of. I would give this book a 5 out of 5 star rating. It's an enjoyable one. It's a classic that I think that a lot of people are familiar with, and if they are not familiar with the book itself, then they are likely familiar with the character. Generally, I would say that the content is tame. There's nothing that's concerning. However, I do think that some people may be concerned with the idea of a stranger coming into a house with two children while they're while they are unaccompanied. I would put this at an early elementary school, kindergarten through third grade reading level. This would actually be a really great book for early beginner readers who are starting to learn how to read by themselves because there's a lot of words in here that are either sight words or they are very few letters, three to four letters, so younger readers could easily sound them out such as cat, hat, can, fun, wish, call, game, fish. There's a lot of words that would be just really good for early readers who are figuring out how to read on their own to read. It would also be a really good book to teach about rhyming. We have, even in the title, cat and hat rhyming. So it would be fun for younger readers especially to maybe play around with other rhymes they could make. For example, instead of the cat in the hat, maybe we have the cat on the mat, or the cat with the bat, or any other number of combinations such as that. No rhyme intended. This book would actually also be good for teaching more social lessons, such as the ideas of trust and honesty and responsibility. The children in this book are directed by two different voices, two different ideas on what they should do. On one side, they have the cat in the hat who is encouraging them to have fun and to not consider what consequences their actions will have. And on the other side, they have their fish who is telling them this isn't a good idea, mom wouldn't like it if we were to do this, she's going to be so upset when she comes back. And ultimately, the children decide to stop the cat in all of the havoc he's making. So this book would be a good way to teach younger children, especially the ideas of responsibility, what is okay to do when they're home alone, or maybe even when they're visiting friends, what is okay behavior to do when they're playing outside of direct adult supervision. It's also a good way to teach about honesty. The book even sets itself up to teach this. On the very last page, we have this. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? So the book even has a built-in question at the end of it where you can ask younger readers, well, what would you do in that situation? Is there anything you would have done differently? It helps these younger readers to think beyond the scope of the storyline and to apply it into their lives. What do you think of The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss? I would ask if you have any other Dr. Seuss recommendations, but we are going to be revisiting Dr. Seuss twice more on this reading adventure. So if you do have any other suggestions in the meantime, feel free to put them in the comments of this video 
or to let me know on Facebook or Instagram. If you're interested in following along with this reading adventure, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on social media for weekly updates about what books we're going to be reading. You can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Before we go, I almost forgot to show you the updated poster. We have the cat in the hat in this first row. We see this red and white hat that is very iconic for this specific character and story. Now, as always, I hope that you have a marvelous week and a wonderful read.